All right, everybody. We're here with a chapter eight practice test that you got. I'm going to do problems number one and two here, where we are asked to find the perimeter and area of each of the figures. And number one, we have what we can safely assume is a parallelogram. I know we don't have the parallel line um, notation there, but this is a parallelogram. We want to find the perimeter and the area. So I'm going to start with the perimeter. Um, I'm going to start with things that I know. I know this side right here is 3.5. And since this is a parallelogram, I know as a result of that that this side here must also be 3.5 because that's what makes a parallelogram a parallelogram. Similarly, with this missing side length here, I know that this side is going to be 2 because the opposite side is also 2. And since I know it's a parallelogram, that has to be 2 as well. So now I'm in a position to where I can find the perimeter. And to find the perimeter of any figure, you add up all the side lengths of the outside of the figure. So this 1.84 will not be necessary in finding the perimeter. So what I'm going to do is take the 3.5 and add it to 2, add it to 3.5 and add it to 2, and find that the perimeter of this figure is 11. Because if we add up all these side lengths along the outside, we get 11. The area of the parallelogram is the base times the height. And the base of the figure here is 3.5. And the height of the figure is 1.84. Because the base and the height are always perpendicular to each other. The height is not 2 because this side length is not perpendicular to 3.5. This is, again, that's not noted there. But it is supposed to be, it is perpendicular to the base. That would be a good clarifying question to ask. Is this indeed perpendicular to the base? Yes, it is. And since that is the case, to find the area of this, we're going to do 1.84 times 3.5 to find that the area of this figure is 6.44 units squared. Number two, we had another figure here. This is a kite. Again, it doesn't really seem like it may or may not be because there are no um, notation marks there to say whether, you know, what's congruent and what's not. But again, um, you can assume that safely. And if you're not sure, it'd be a great clarifying question to ask if this is indeed supposed to be a kite. And the answer to that question would be yes. So since it's a kite, we know some things about the figure. And again, we have to find the perimeter and the area of each of the figures. And we're going to start with the perimeter. And what I'm going to break this kite down into, even though it's already broken down into, is four right triangles. This angle right here is a right angle. Again, be a great clarifying question to ask. Is this a right angle? Yes, it is. As a result of that, I can find this missing side length right here because I need this side length to find the perimeter because the perimeter is adding up all the outside side lengths here. So to find this missing side length, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm missing c because this is the hypotenuse of this triangle right here, of this right triangle. And I have my a, I have my b, so I have 6 squared plus 1.86 squared equals c squared. I can do those squarings. 6 squared is 36. 1.86 squared is 3.4596. And that is equal to c squared. So adding those two numbers together, we get 39.54596. That c squared, we don't want to know what c squared is. We want to know what just c is. So we have to take the square root of that 39.4596. And we will find that that is 6.28, rounded to the nearest hundredth there. So 6.28 is the length of this side right here. And again, since this is a kite, and this side is 6.28, this side must also be 6.28. So we can label both those there. And if you don't believe me that this is 6.28, you can just use the Pythagorean theorem again. And we're using the same exact number. So it will come out exactly the same once again. We're not quite in a position, however, to find the perimeter because we're missing this side length and this side length. So I'm going to take a look at this right triangle and find the side length there. So I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Again, using this right triangle here, I know that I'm missing c because it is opposite of the right angle. It is the hypotenuse from this right angle that is not denoted there, but it is a right angle. 2 squared is 4. 1.86 squared is 3.4596, as we saw from the previous side of the, of the kite. And that's equal to c squared. Add those things together, and you get 7.4596 is equal to c squared. Take the square root of that, and we get 2.73. So that means that this missing side length here is 2.73, as well as the other one. 
Now we are in a position to find the perimeter. The perimeter is adding all these side lengths together. So you get 6.28 plus 6.28 plus the two seven threes, and you get 18.02 for the perimeter of this kite. The area of the kite. Now, once again, we're going to go back to these triangles here. And if I look at this triangle, I know how to find the area of a triangle. It's one half base times height. So I'm going to find the area of this triangle right here by doing one half the base, which would be 1.86, times the height, which is 6, because the base and the height of a triangle are perpendicular. So 1, one half times 1.86 times 6 is 5.58, which is the area of this triangle right here. But this triangle down below is exactly the same, so that means both of those have an area of 5.58. So I found the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle down here, but I want the area of the whole figure. So now I have to find the area of this triangle here and this one down below by using the same exact formula. 1 half base times height. We have 1 half times the base, which is 2 or 1.86. You can interchange those all you want to, and you'll get the same thing. 1, one half times 1.86 times 2 is 1.86. So that means the area of these triangles here is 1.86. And if I want to find the area of the whole figure, I'm going to take these areas denoted in red and add them all together. So the area of this kite is 14.48.